Today I think is going to be a pretty exciting unboxing. A couple of days ago, I forget, maybe it was on Sunday or something, I was, so I, no, actually it was October 1st because I was looking at Steep Tea and they had released some, uh, some new items, one of which was a unicorn tea. It has butterfly pea flower, so it changes color with varying acidity levels. The, and, and I was very interested in it. But then when you go to do the shipping, so it's $19 plus $10 to ship it. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. It's just too costly. So then I, I know I had seen a unicorn tea from Paravion Tea. And um, I have issues with their teas, though, because they repackage like a lot of teas from like um, a couple different companies. And then they repackage it and sell it at like a premium price to like a lot of spas and hotels and things. And so I don't want to buy something in pretty packaging when I know I can get it cheaper elsewhere. So anyway, when I searched, long story short, when I searched, a company came up, I had never heard of them before, Savoy Tea. And so I watched actually a couple YouTube videos about the company and it actually started out with a couple who um, owned a coffee shop and bookstore I guess and they're a Christian bookstore and they're um, with the downswing in the market they um, had to kind of change gears they loved tea so then they um, decided to open tea shop and they, they now have I think three maybe four locations and they have what they call their tea, what are they calling it, tea factory, something like that, where they actually blend teas and then they they actually, I guess, sell and market their teas to some big tea retailers out there too. Um, this is all from some videos and information I, I saw and read. So anyway, I was like very intrigued. I had never heard of them and I never would have had I not been searching for a unicorn tea. <laughs> random but but then I started looking and and again let me say this is in no way sponsored I paid for this for my own money but I'm very excited so I just thought I would do this video about it so anyway I started looking at their teas and they have free shipping within the U.S. Um, so I was like well that's fantastic and then they had some really interesting blends and they're doing the blending themselves that's what I'm looking for Many times I'll find a tea that looks amazing and then I always go and look at like the um, uh, the big tea distributors and see if it's a tea that they're making because a lot of times these smaller places I find the teas um, are just being repackaged. They're, they're, um, uh, so there's really nothing unique about them. This company though, all of their blends are um, unique to them as far as I could tell. They actually have uh, one of the, the owners, I believe, is a tea sommelier, so they actually went to school um, and got certification. Um, so they actually have folks doing this that have some credential behind what they're doing with the tea. But anyway, so I just loved everything about what I saw and read and heard, watched about the company. So anyway, I placed an order. I ordered, they have their tea subscription box, which is very affordable. It was $12 and you get, um, it said a cute sticker. I think it's three teas and then a steep, steeping note card. I guess you can write down notes on what you think about the teas and information about the teas. Um, and then I ordered some samples and then one full sized product. Um, shipping was extremely fast. I think I ordered this Sunday. No, no, it was the first. So the Monday, and then it arrived today, Thursday. So let's take a look here. And I did many times when I am going to be um, ordering a tea, teas, and with the sole intention that I'm probably going to review it, I always, if there's a note section on the order, I always put, hey, I'm gonna be um, reviewing your tea on my channel, FYI, 
Um, just that way they know, and you know, it helps to increase exposure for me, uh, but then that way they can kind of watch out for that review as well. So I did that in this case. So first thing in the box, um, it's got this really pretty blue packaging, so I like that. Um, and there is a card here, and I love, I love when companies do that with the wax seals. I just think it's always a nice touch, and that's like their, their, um, their emblem here on the wax seal. So I think that that's always a really nice touch. And um, yeah, so let's see here. It says, um, hi, Stephanie. Uh, we're so excited to share our teas with you. Looking forward to hear your thoughts on our blends. Uh, Savoy Tico. P.S. Add lemon to the unicorn tea to see the magic. And so that's kind of like their, the font and the look of their, their um, uh, literature and materials. So there's a card here, it says Savoy Tea Co. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy our teas, Tony. Um, so that maybe that's who's, who packed it. Okay, so first thing, I did order um, <laughs> their unicorn tea because that's what I was originally interested in. That's what I was looking for. So this was $12 in free shipping and the steep tea one was 19 with $10 shipping. Um, so it comes in a package like that. It's, it smells really good. It smells almost like cotton candy, super sweet. Um, let's see, it says a powerful, this powerful tea is a secret source of the unicorn's beauty and grace. When steeped, its deep purple hue beckons the mightiest of creatures. Add a touch of lemon and watch and wonder as the color changes. Now bask in the splendor of the magical unicorn. And it's got apple, rose hip, orange peel, mango, pineapple, butterfly pea flower, carrot pieces, natural and artificial flavors, and magic. But I thought that was so cute and it smells nice. So I'm really excited to try that one. I will do a review on that one in case anybody is curious. Okay, so then I'm not sure. I don't think my tea club. Oh, and then I forgot to show too. There was a sticker in here. I love this. Look at this sticker. Can't we all just oolong? All get oolong. That is so cute. I love that. That's going right in my tea book that I have. So I'm looking here to see which ones were part. I don't know. I don't think my tea club is in here. So I'm not sure on that because I don't see a, a steeping note card or anything. So maybe, yeah, I don't think this is the tea club. I think it's just um, the teas that I had ordered. Okay, so I had to go back and look at my order confirmation to see which ones I ordered because I think either my tea club is in here or maybe I um, maybe they sent me some extra teas to try since I did tell them I was going to be um, reviewing so I think I think that that's probably the the latter is probably the case so I'm very excited about that and what what threw me for a loop there for a minute the other four teas here are ones that actually I was going to place a second order to buy. <laughs> I was so I'm like, did I place that order? And I just didn't remember I did. Am I that crazy with buying tea that I can't remember what I'm ordering? It could be, but I, I think maybe they just included these for me to try. So um, thank you very much. Um, so the first one, which again, this is one I wanted to try. It's Miracle Mermaid Tea. And talk about just fun. I love the imagery. Um, you can really tell that they have taken a lot of time into not only the teas and the blends, but also the packaging, everything. And honestly, these are the type of things, when I think of like, let's say David's tea, that's really one of the big draws is the imagery. 
And it's like if, if you like that imagery and that sucks you in and the teas are good, I, I think this company is really going to go places. And I'm not just saying that. Um, I, I just, everything I've seen thus far, I haven't tried the teas. So, but I'm just saying based on what I've seen thus far, I really like what I'm seeing. So this one is mango, pineapple, apple, rose hip, hibiscus, lemongrass, corn, flower, rose petals, and all natural flavoring. Frosted orange roll. And this one is cinnamon, orange peel, natural and artificial flavors with Chinese black tea. And oh, I love orange teas. Homemade apple cider. And it is a South African green rooibos, cinnamon, apple pieces, natural and artificial flavor. And I love green rooibos in blends like this. I really do. So I'll be curious to see what that tastes like. Um, ginger honey peach. This sounds good actually iced, that it would be good iced. It's a black tea with ginger root, calendula, natural and artificial flavor. Okay, and then the ones that I had ordered pumpkin muffin, black tea from China, white chocolate chips, freeze-dried carrots, cinnamon pieces, natural and artificial flavor. This one just even looks good. Look at that. So I'm very excited about that one. This one too was very intriguing. Squash buckling chai. Red rooibos Freeze-dried carrots, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, natural and artificial flavor. So next up is birthday cake. And it's a black tea with rainbow sprinkles and all natural flavoring. And the last one is lemon pound cake. Chinese black tea, calendula, natural lemon, natural and artificial flavoring. Um, so again, I am beyond ecstatic to try all of these teas. The little ones came down, so now they're rowdy. But I am so excited to try all these teas. And I'm gonna start actually with this one. Um, what I'm going to do, I wanna try all of these, and then I'm gonna try to get a video up here in the next week because I do wanna review these and let you guys know um, if it's something to check into, especially with free shipping. And these were all sample sizes except this. So the others were sample sizes, and I think they were $3 a piece, and that is a more than ample size to determine um, if you're gonna like the tea or not. <laughs> so very, very excited about this. So um, I would check them out if you're curious and then I'll be back like I said hopefully in the next week with a video uh, going over all of these teas and what I thought questions leave those below and thanks so much for watching bye